Madam, it's such a pleasure to welcome you. It's really an honor for us. I am delighted to, that you have found time in your schedule to grace this occasion. I also express my gratitude to the President of the ISA Assembly and the Minister for Energy, uh, the Indian Minister for Energy, Mr. R.K. Singh, to be here with us. I'm also delighted that the Secretary of the New and Renewable Energy Ministry, the European Ambassador and Ambassadors of the Member States, the European Member States who are members of the ISA have also come here today. I thank all of you for being with us on a Sunday. Ma'am, in the past few years, we have seen a huge growth in the solar industry. In the past 10 years, the amount of money that has gone into the sector has gone up from something like less than uh, approximately 50 billion to more than 200 billion. This reflects the changing solar energy panorama and consequently because of commitments we are seeing greater investments occur. At the ISA we are striving to accelerate solar power uptake in every corner of the world with a special emphasis on sunshine rich the least developed countries and the small island developing countries and mobilizing a trillion dollars worth of funding for solar investments in these countries. Ma'am, the ISA resonates with the European Commission's spirit of no person and no place left behind. Our efforts under our three pillars of programmatic support, capacity building and analytics and advocacy and our nine thematic sectoral programs are guided by a similar principle. We strive to employ solar technology to drive equitable impact across all the 105 member countries who we have with us today. We note that in all of our, at least in all of our developing country members, the here and now needs of our member countries are important. And we need to ensure these needs are met as we move along. We also resonate with your ideals of behind the Africa-EU partnership. It bothers us, and the President of the Assembly has often mentioned this, that there are about 600 million people in Africa who don't have access to energy. And yet, last year, just 4.7% of the solar investments went into Africa. We need to work together to ensure that the, we maximize the benefits to the African continent in particular while minimizing environmental threats. We look forward to work with you. We have a joint declaration and to see how we can enhance our partnership. We are grateful for the 1 million euros of support that the European Commission has provided and we look forward to uh, the formal request that we have made for a pillar assessment by the European Commission to enable direct support to the International Solar Alliance. We are working on various kinds of things, but I, Madam, I think where we can work particularly is on issues related to the disposal of the solar panels and of the batteries which have lived out their lives. That, together with enabling generation across the world, I think would be necessary for us to ensure that solar reaches every part of the world. We will work with you to making solar energy affordable, accessible, and equitable, and look forward to strengthening this cooperation that we have with the European Commission, and we wish to make it stronger. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Dr. Mathur.